Hello, welcome everyone. It's Meredith. I am here with our daily reading for Monday, February 4th, 2019. We are using Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot today. Love this deck. Um, yeah, and a bunch of cards fell out. I was really just going to do like a four card reading today, but I guess the cards had another thing in mind. <laughs> They're so long winded today. <laughs> All right, uh, we have two off the bottom of the deck. We have the Lovers and the Hierophant. So something is mm, more committed in relationship. It's a deliberate choice, uh, a strengthening bond, an expanding connection, a deepening connection. Um, I also feel here a sharing of often deeper authenticity. That's what I hear. Let's see what that leads to. First card, the Six of Cups, the Soulmate card. So we've got the Lovers and the Soulmate card. Hmm. There's an energy that's... Um, Typically when we see this card, we we have the message that someone from our past returns. I don't exactly feel it that way today. I feel it in the sense that someone we know, have known for a while, connected to this Hierophant, lovers, um, our connection to this person is expanding. I feel like we're surrendering into the soulmate aspect of the Six of Cups. There's generosity in this card. There's sharing. There's um, a very sweet intimacy in this card as well. And I like seeing it here with the Hierophant, which the Hierophant card is, on a personal note, whenever I turn this card over, I kind of roll my eyes. <laughs> inwardly grown um, because it's it's a card that speaks to traditional um, morals values and I feel that those are ever shifting some people may be very set and rigid with it but um, the energy of now is not so set or rigid with traditional morals and values and um, so there is this expansive spiritual energy to the Hierophant which is really lovely but I feel like that card is in flux and has been in flux energetically speaking for a number of years so when I see it it feels sometimes out of place for me but then next to the lovers and next to the six of cups you can't escape the the message of marriage commitment strengthening bonds either so however that works for you and this may not be a relationship with a person for you as you're viewing this. This could be your relationship within your own self. This could be your relationship to a project or an adventure that you are in love with that's coming to life for you right now. Um, but let's see what comes next. The King of Swords. Whoa. And look how determined he is. There, Something is definitely up in, <laughs> in relationship today. Um, there is someone who is very determined to bring this energy of the lovers, the six of cups, the hierophant. Someone is bringing this energy to you, but let's see what this king is looking at. He's looking at the queen of cups. Hmm. The queen feels like us today. Um, <laughs> she's so intuitive. She's got the lovers here in her card as well. Uh, sort of. Let me double check that. Well, that's what I saw when I looked at this, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Um, <laughs> I think yesterday for the weekend reading, I think I had said it was the Eight of Cups repeatedly. I believe it was actually the Seven of Cups, but I'm sticking with the Eight of Cups for the weekend reading. Oh, bear with me, folks. Anyway, I feel the lover's energy on her card. I love that we have the all-seeing eye as a pendant over her heart space. And it's like that all-seeing eye is scrying into her cup, which I see as also the ace of cups. 
So there is something really significant going on in relationship here. And I do feel as though um, another individual is coming our way with the intensity of the King of Swords. This is very determined. This is very well thought out. I feel an offer coming our way from this King of Swords. And it's not just any old offer. This is one that is long in the making. And... Uh, it's deliberate, it's intentional, and it's surrounded by love. As ferocious as he looks on this card, this king is... He's determined and passionate about what he has to offer. You know, the kings and queens are self-mastery. This particular king and his queen, they make decisions that change the world. So this is something really significant for this person, what they're bringing to us. It's going to be received so beautifully with all the heart that could be found in the Queen of Cups. So this is something we welcome. <laughs> this kind of fire staring us down, wow. That's hard to say no to. <laughs> um, but he looks a little frightening, you know, and he's got some storm clouds there. He gets a bad rap for being cold, but he's not cold at all. Um, mm, this should be interesting. I'm going to want to see some comments on this one, folks. Next card. Two of Cups. Okay. We cannot escape that this is relationship. <laughs> two of Cups, the lovers, the Six of Cups, the Queen of Cups holding the Ace of Cups, and these two beings that I felt were the lovers on her card. So... There's some big doings on the relationship front here. Um, someone's making us an offer. Our king here is making an offer. And for those of you not connecting this to relationship, this is an amazing partnership in someone um, that you have known for a while. Um, helps, makes an offer, furthers along your project or your adventure, new decisions are made, and you just feel like um, it's finally taking off. It's finally like coming together. That's what I feel there. Next card, the moon. There's still an, a mysterious aspect to it. So even though we have this determined focus in the king coming right at us with an amazing offer, and we're receiving it so beautifully, there is still an element of mystery to this. However, we do have the moon with this queen, so this is our intuition igniting. And now, however you experience your intuitive gifts, it's really important that you listen to it today. So something mysterious becomes less mysterious, but it doesn't dispel the entire mystery, okay? There's still something of a mystery left over in this. And I'm feeling like we're all getting what we desire, but not necessarily the way we desire it. Like, we've had an image in our mind of how we think things should go, and I don't necessarily think it's going to come out that way. It's going to produce the end result that you're dreaming for. The journey there, though, is uh, there's some unexpected aspects to it. My sense, though, is that the unexpected aspect is is delightful and it is surprising and it's a journey worth taking. It feels whirlwind <laughs> in nature. Um, that's pretty fun though. I think we could all benefit from a little of the joyful, surprising, delightful, unexpected. I think we could benefit from that for sure. All right, and then here it is, Ace of Cups. Well, a new beginning, a fresh start, a divine and cosmic gift. You know, there's an aspect, too, of what the universe is bringing that, we're, that we don't know about. So it's not just that there is someone um, that determined and that focused upon us, but there's also what the universe desires to bless us with, and that's coming with this king's offer, this king's intention. Um, this king's expression. I'm not exactly sure how it's coming to you today. It could be in conversation. Um, 
it could be that deliberate and intentional, like a real good face-to-face. -face. Um, it could be in a phone call. Doubtful that it's text or email because that's a little too impersonal for what I'm seeing here. Um, but the Ace of Cups, twice in the reading, the Two of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Lovers, a little bit of mystery. Like, this is shaping up to be a pretty spicy recipe. <laughs> All right, we had two extra cards fall out, so let's go over those. We have another king. We have the king of pentacles. See, I said earlier, this focus and determination, this decision, this choice has long been in the making. And now we have the king of pentacles here. He's a visionary. He's super passionate. Um, and he has just as much focus and determination as the King of Swords. He's a little less engaged by his ferocity, but there is abundance. There's fertility. Um, our resources are being provided to us. So like I said, we may not be receiving exactly what we wanted in the way we wanted it, but we're receiving it. And in the way that we've imagined it, the universe and... <laughs> yes, the universe has designed other surprises, like built-in surprises to the whole thing. That's pretty exciting. So we have the intensity of two kings coming toward our queen energy today, this soft, intuitive, receptive energy here. There is loyalty. There is trustworthiness in this experience today. Hmm. This queen doesn't accept things necessarily at face value. She's going to feel into what's right there in front of her. And if any queen in the tarot could spot something false, it's her. <laughs> so her radar for lies would be like, you know, supernatural. I don't feel that here, though. This feels genuine and loving and intense, really focused, deliberate, um, intentional, long in the creation, and it feels like a tremendous gift. And this is not the first time in the past week that we've seen the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups together. We've also seen a lot of the Nine of Cups lately, too. Okay, next card that fell out, the Nine of Pentacles, came with the King of Pentacles, which is a beautiful pairing. And as I see these two together... Um, I feel connection and relationship, definitely. It starts off over there with the Hierophant and the Lovers. Something's connecting, deepening, expanding. expanding. It is filling our heart space with so much joy. And for some of us, it feels like a tremendous sigh of relief. And the soulmate twin flame connection is... It's truly profound and such a gift. My guides are saying this is something of destiny touching us today. So, well, keep your arms wide open to receive and savor what's in front of you. Savor with this kind of intention off these two kings. Notice this one has a much softer look to him. He's no less passionate, but oh, those are positive, joyful cards. Really joyful cards. And I feel that this nine and this king are quite a pair together. She's usually seen as the single happy person, but I really do see her accommodating this king. She's made space for this this person. We've made space for this person, and they've made space for us. And it's, it's profound, it's beautiful, it's divinely gifted and destined from what the cards are saying today. And there is a dash of mystery on it, which is thrilling. Love that. Okay. Let's do Angel Answers. This is your opportunity, as always, to ask a question. That's too many cards. Do that while I shuffle. Okay. What do we got? We have Ask for Help from Others. For me, that's, that card is a call to one of my friends. 
and I just blurt out whatever it is that's on my mind and they're like, you know what? You would really benefit from getting your energy grounded. <laughs> so we may need that kind of help today. We may need just a little bit of grounding. And then we have recovery. You know, this card, I do want to say that today feels a bit like a bounce back day. Over the past week, I've experienced it myself and been witness to it with some of my very dear and special friends, but there have been a number of emotional um, breakdowns this week. <laughs> and I kind of feel like we're in a little bit of recovery from that. And we have been asking for help from others. We've been calling our strong friends and saying, uh, yeah, I need a lifeline here. And we've, we've received it. But I feel as we come into our Monday that we are blessed with uh, a really beautiful healing energy that does feel like emotional recovery from the past week. My sense of it is that we've had a lot of energy get stirred up emotionally from the eclipse and from some other stuff going on in the cosmos. Uh, check your astrology because it's been pretty intense lately. And my feeling is that the recovery card is related to that. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Next card. There it is. Big happy changes. Yeah, that's what's happening here in this reading. That's why so many cards fell out today. <laughs> All right, last card, everybody. It's our affirmation for the day from Notes from the Universe. And we get forgive. Of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. Just depends on how much more you want from the adventure. Go for gobs, the universe. <laughs> that may be the recovery card, too. We may, we may be working on some stuff, emotional stuff that we've been carrying with us. We're letting it go. We're letting ourselves off the hook. And that creates big, happy changes and... These cards sort of indicate that <laughs> the more recovery, forgiveness we do, the bigger, the happier, the changes we make. All right, everybody, that's it for Monday. Happy Monday. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out your February monthlies. Watch your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting here on the channel. Really appreciate it. Bye for now, everyone.